Hey guys, welcome to another video of Us in a Bus. I'm Claritza and the guy behind the camera is Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. and today, we're working on the couch build once again. Look at the mess in here. <laughs> Construction site. So this is what we got so far. So what we did is we cut out all the pieces for the couch. And now it's time for assembly and this part to be built. Yes. So guys, we already got most of our pieces cut out for the top of the framing part, but we, I just cut out these yesterday and it just so happens to be like a perfect fit for where we're gonna put it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these and then we're gonna build a little shoe rack for us when we walk in the bus. So I think it's gonna come out nice. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, so we got, listen, we're not done screwing in it, so don't judge me, okay? But listen, we got something in front to hold it up. We got something in the back. Girls holler at me for Huh. leaf clover. <laughs> bang, bang! Look at that, 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 look at that. She's gonna go ahead and pre-drill the holes. I'm going to drill them in after she's done doing that. So we're just gonna kinda do a time lapse here. screwing all these in. Hey guys, so we actually finished out most of this couch. We added this little area so I can be able to get in here for cleaning and stuff like that. We're thinking about putting Mia underneath here. So what we did is we added this little hinge here that we got from Home Depot. If anything, we'll put it down below in the links. But it's pretty easy finding the hinge section. And so what we did is we lifted it up and we added these two um, two by twos on the bottom to make sure it has a lot of friction to keep it close. So if you notice right now, because we didn't sand it down, um, it's gonna be a little harder to close. So I have to give it a little bit more force. So we figured that we wouldn't put any lift up mechanism here. We're just gonna put a sliding door so I can be able to reach in there for anything I need. But this will be able to pull out and it'll become and it'll match up with this side, so you guys will see. So it'll be here, la da da da. Oh, let me pull it out. Great. Now we have a full this whole area. And I just want to lay down on this so you guys can see the length of it, because we did make it, you know, long enough for somebody that's over six feet that can lay on this. Yes. And I'm gonna put it down. 
I'm not even all the way up, fellas. So it works. So that's one person, and then once we have the slide out here, there is another person that could sleep there. Yep. Uh, I'm back. <sighs> He's old. Yeah, that's what happens when you're an old man, you know? I have so much room. About a whole foot and a half, almost. Yep, like she said, she's five feet. So that's how much room she has. So the shoe, the shoe area is gonna be right here. And it's just gonna take up this whole space under here. And it's gonna be two uh, stories. Reason is, is because I have tons of shoes, and uh, Emmanuel told me. Which is getting get, rid of a lot of them. Emmanuel told me I have to get rid of a lot of them, but still, I probably won't get rid of all of them. Let's be serious. Uh, until I get used to this minimal lifestyle, because I am a fashion student, so I have a lot of shoes, clothes, fabrics, and all types of different sewing material. You guys will see it once I actually fill this area. Because this area will be holding all my sewing stuff and then Mia. That's pretty much it that's going on underneath here. So next time we'll be doing the slide out panels for the couch and the front. Alright guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. It was We didn't get much of the, the good footage that we really wanted to get. But we did record what we could. It was a long and frustrating day. Yes. So please bear with us on that one. It's been a hard few weeks because I'm going back to school and we've been trying to have, tr we've been having troubles with yeah. our scheduling and all that to make it down here to make sure we get this bus done and we do want to get it done. It's not that we don't and we're it's super just, excited. You guys gotta understand though, we're not, I mean, you, I'm sure not, no one's really rushing us either, but we're not really in a rush. We're trying to take our time with it because we don't want to, we don't want to rush it and mess up as we told you guys before in our past yeah. videos. Oh, damn, is that a bee? What the hell? Is it a wasp? I think it's a beetle. Alright. Anyways, yeah, we're not we're not in a rush or anything, so we are getting things done slowly but surely. As but you can see. Yeah, hopefully it actually comes out good because we're doing this. So let us know what you guys think in the comments. Um please like, comment, and subscribe down below. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment and ask them. Yeah. And true. for that person that asked if we were gonna do their challenge that they challenge us for. Yes, we will definitely give that challenge a try. Just give us some time because we do want to work on the Well, bus. I wouldn't say. Oh, Emmanuel! <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. It's, it's a bee. It's not a bee. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Where's he at? That's not a bee. That's a beetle. I don't give a sh crap. I think you killed it anyway. Yeah, you did kill it. I just swiped him. Hello? And this is what happens when we try to vlog. <laughs> she literally loves the bus. She's seen it from nothing to something. She's coming around. She loves to see the school bus running. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>